Today's tutorial involves answering the question of how to get a design saved in your computer once you're finished editing in SoWeb Pro. Then how do you transfer it from SoWeb Pro to your embroidery machine? Stay tuned for the answer. <music> Greetings and welcome to our channel. I'm Eve with The Baby's Booty. This video is a quick pick tutorial for So What Pro. So What Pro is an embroidery design editing software program. This tutorial will benefit those who machine embroider or wish to learn more about it. You should already have a machine and have purchased designs to fully benefit from this video. Today's video is in regards to how to save, then send embroidery designs to your embroidery machine with So What Pro. Let's get started. So let's open this up and we're going to go with this little guy down here, box. Really cute. So the first thing I want to be sure when I finish with a design, is I want to be sure that the design fits inside my hoop size that my machine takes. And my machine takes four by four. So if this was larger than four by four, and I tried to put it to my machine, my machine will not recognize the file. So what happens when I go to pull up the design that I drug to the machine? Where is it? It's not there. It's not there because this machine knows that it only takes four by four. So if I try to put a design on here that's any larger than four by four, it will not recognize it. I don't care how hard you try. So if you save a design and you put it on your machine, your machine is not picking it up. That can make sure that the size is within the Require parameters for your machine. I know that if I put this on my machine and it's larger than 4x4, four four, my machine will not pick it up. The other thing you want to be sure is that your design is saved with the correct file extension. What do I mean? When I come up here to file, there's two ways to save this design. I can go file, save as, and then notice I have it named already Autumn 3. So I can name it. I've already have this one named, so I'm not going to change it. And then down here, I want to make sure that the type of file is exactly what my machine takes. My brother machines, all three of them, take the PS file format. If you click down here, notice all the other machine types pull up. So if your machine is not recognizing your file, make sure that your file extension is what your machine takes. Now this brother old format is PS as well. This one, if you have the P500 for the SE400. So if you save it as this top one and your machine doesn't recognize it, then come down and pick this one. Or if you have this one and your machine doesn't recognize it, pick the other. Most important thing is making sure that this S is there and these options that are available for the brother machine. If you have baby lock, you want to make sure that your PES or if yours take the PES, that that's selected. So there are options here. The manual with your machine, make sure you have the right file extension. So mine has the right file extension, then this is the correct file. So I would click save and then you will save right here. It already exists. Do I want to replace it? I'll go ahead. It doesn't hurt anything because I haven't made any changes. Another way to do the exact same thing we just did is you come up here to this icon and notice it says save as. So you want to click here. And it opens up the exact same dialog box we just looked at. Now, 
we've saved the design. We know where we saved it to. So how do we get it to our machine? Well, there are two different ways to do that as well. The one way that I've used until I learned a different way is like so. I minimize So What Pro and I come down here to File Explorer. I open it up. Now I have quick access. So it pulls up the last few files that I've been working with. And this little guy is one of them. So my computer gives me a little bit of a cheat. But if you don't have quick access, you want to come over here and find where you saved your file. You know where you saved your file, navigate to it over here, like so. I know it's under pictures, I know it's under embroidery, I know it's under P500, I know it's custom, and I know it's under number one. Yes, I have a lot of file trees, I have a lot of different files nested within each other. That's the way my mind works, so I have to go with what I'm used to. So here's Autumn 3, the file we were just working with. Now, my SE400 is right beside me. It's turned on, um, but it's not plugged into my laptop. So if you look over here to the side in File Explorer, is this is just your regular computer files and such. So what happens when I plug my sewing machine into the USB port on my computer, the sewing embroidery machine shows up. And notice it says USB Drive F. So both of these pop up, okay, you can use either one. And it already had a file in here. I'm gonna take that out so that I'm working with a clean machine. Okay, so let's go back to the file that we had. And it was this little guy here. One way to get him to your machine is to click on him and drag him down to the F drive. And notice, see, it pops up and says copy to F. You can drop him right in there. And your machine will beep and let you know that the design is in your machine. That's one way to get him on the machine. Another way to get him on the machine is to go back into So What Pro. And we have a toolbar button. Come up here to right to removable media. Right beside your uh, hoop size, the black disc emblem. You want to click here, or as you see, a tooltip popped up that said alternate M. So your alternate keys are beside on either side of your space bar on your computer keyboard. So you hold down the Alt and then you press the letter M, and then it will open up the same dialog box that will pop up as soon as we click here. This is the dialog box to transfer files to external media, whether it's your embroidery design card, whether it's a floppy disk, whether it's a USB stick, doesn't matter. You wanna make sure that your embroidery machine it like it's supposed to be because as you see drop down it'll pull up other machines. I have brother. The external drive that I want to write to is the F drive. Now if I had my other two machines connected here the G and the H drives would show up. I want to select the one that I want the design to be written to. Now let's go find this box and put him on this F drive. So we'll hit browse and it automatically opened up the last folder I was working with but if it does not navigate to the folders where your file is and you can either drop this down here and find it in this list by going picture embroidery 500 custom in one as I showed you earlier or if this wasn't the right folder you can go up a level maybe it was in this folder um, but either way, that's how you get to your design. And once you find it, which this little guy is who we're working with, I'll click on him and drag, click him and drag him down here to 
this square. Once you have the files you want, now this is pretty handy because you can do more than one file at a time. Say if I want to do the owl next, then I'll click him and drag him down. And so now I have this file and I have this file. Then you hit finish. If you wanted to bring him down, you could you hit finish. So however many designs you want to put on your machine at a time that your machine will allow you to put on it at a time. Drag down into the box and then you click finish. And so now they're here. So we want to click write files. You hit write files. Notice it says copy and files. Finish writing two files to removable media in my machine feed to let me know that both of those files are now on the F drive, which is my embroidery. So there you have it. Two different ways to get designs onto your machines. Do you remember how we did it? What is one of the first things you want to be sure when you save your design? Well, first and foremost, you need to know what hoop size your machine is restricted to. So before you save a design, make sure, like in my case, it can't be larger than 4x4. Four four. So I need to make sure that this design does not exceed 4x4. Four four. The second thing I want to be sure of is when I do save as, I want to be sure that my file type is exactly what my machine takes. And as I mentioned before, there are two different type PES files here. Not sure why, but try one. If it doesn't work, try the other. But either way, it needs to be the file extension that your machine accepts. Because if it's any different, it will not show up on your embroidery machine. The same with the size of your design. If it's larger than what your machine accepts, it will not show up on your machine. Once you save your design and you know it's the right size and the right extension, how do you get it to your machine? Two different ways. You can close out so it Pro or minimize it and navigate to the file where your design is, which mine is here, and then you can drag the design over to the drive that your machine uses. Or another way is within So What Pro. They made it handy. Come here to this black right to removable media or Alt M. You click it, then you go to browse, find the folder where your design is, and once you find it, drag and drop it down to the box below. Once you drag and drop it, you hit finish. And then you hit write files. And you want to make sure the checkbox is in the drive that it's going to. Cool thing is, I should be able to select the other two machines if I had all three connected at one time and write files to all three machines. And that's handy if I'm doing all three machines with the same design. And then you hit close. How cool is that? So What Pro is completely handy, user friendly. It just takes a few moments to learn the ins and outs. And once you get it down, it's a blast to use. As always, we appreciate you tuning in to our channel. If this tutorial was helpful, please hit the like button. That will also make it easier to navigate back to this video if you need a refresher. Also, please subscribe. We will be adding more So What Pro tutorials as they are requested. Keep the questions coming. We enjoy the feedback. Until next time, enjoy your embroidery.